Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. I just got to the bins, we are here. It is Saturday, it's 10.30, so a little bit of a late start today, but they should just be like getting into like the heavy rotations right now, so it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I used to be so adamant about getting here right at 8 a.m., but now I've just been moseying on over whenever I get ready, so. I'm gonna head in, I'm gonna see what I can find. Like always, I'm gonna show you guys inside while I'm digging through the bins as much as I can. And then when I get home at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys a haul of everything that I picked up, including things that I picked up for myself and my family and all the things that I plan to resell um, and what I plan to resell them for. A huge, um, <laughs> what are those vans called? Oh my gosh. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, so we're gonna head inside. I have all my snacks. I have a coffee. I've got my bags. We're ready to go. Let's see what we can find today. Last time I went was actually a good day. The last haul video I posted. So that was a late night trip to the bins, which was so random, but it ended up being good. So I'm hoping that the bins are back to normal. Let's see, fingers crossed. <laughs> it's going really good so far. It's super busy here today, like crazy busy. These are possibly worth a lot of money. Some Rio, Rios of Mercedes, men's cowboy boots. What else did I find? Lots of other goodies to look up, but I'm gonna sort through my cart right now. And then I'm gonna wait for one more rotation. They're doing that whole back wall right there and then I'll probably leave. Okay, I'm done. It's been a long day, holy crap. It's like four o'clock right now. So I was there for what, five and a half, six hours? I'm exhausted and I need food so bad. It was a really good day. It was so busy, but I did find a lot of good things. A couple new brands that I'm excited about. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. I'm like beyond exhausted. So I don't know how words are coming out of my mouth right now. <laughs> But I'm going to head home. Stay tuned for the haul. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the haul portion of this video. I have a giant basket of things to show you. Um, did I tell you what I spent already? I don't know. I may have told you. Um, but $57. I got 33 pounds. And yeah, let's jump into it. Let's cut the chit chat. I'm going to show you guys the things that I picked up for myself first. I have a hair floating around somewhere. Okay. <laughs> so first up, I got this hat. Go Cougs. <laughs> this was like brand new and I just needed it. I just needed it. I don't have a Cougs hat, so I, I grabbed it for myself. Then I grabbed this purse for myself. Just a cute little crossbody. I think this is Old Navy. I can't find the tag anywhere, but nothing fancy. Faux leather, little shoulder bag. This I got for myself. This is H&M. I just love pink and red together. I have no idea what that says. I'm gonna have to Google it, but just a little graphic tee. Pink and red is like the best color combo in my opinion. I got some baby clothes to add to my baby hoarding pile for someday. This is just a cute little like ribbed little onesie. And then this one is a little thermal. Oh, so cute. And oh, this one too. This is Christmas. <laughs> I couldn't leave this behind. It's vintage. It's a little baby like Christmas onesie with a little bow on the back. So cute. And then a Christmas sweater for myself too. This one was just so cute. I just love it. It's, is it the 12 days of Christmas? It is the 12 days of Christmas. I didn't even know. Um, I will collect cool Christmas sweaters for myself or my family and just put them in the Christmas box until it's Christmas time. And then we have a variety to choose from. This is just a long sleeve graphic shirt. What is it? Sierra Summit China Peak. 
never been there, but I love long sleeve crew necks. They're really good for the bins. <laughs> and lastly, I found this cute little zip up hoodie for Marlo. It's from the brand Primary, which is a pretty good children's clothing brand, maybe to take to a kid's consignment store, but resell like on eBay and stuff, it doesn't do the greatest um, as far as like how much you get for it. Um, okay, so I found one pair of shoes and they are these super cute cowboy boots. The brand is new to me. It's Rio's of Mercedes. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys. Probably not, but these, um, definitely a Bolo brand, that's for sure. Mine have some pretty rough spots to the leather. So it's a little bit softer and then there's toe creasing right there. Um, but I still have these up for 120. So they do go for a good amount. Um, I will probably get like 75 for these, but they are a really cool like red, burgundy and black. So they are a little more sought after. They're a men's 10. Um, yeah. Okay, let's dive into the clothes. <laughs> First is a Ted Baker. This is just a men's button down shirt, floral print. This is a newer style, very trendy and cool, perfect for summer. Um, a five equates to an XL, I believe. And this does have a faint, you can barely see it, yellowing to the collar right there. I just noted that in my listing. Um, I'm sure somebody will be able to get that out with some sort of magical stain remover. <laughs> um, these are a pair of Lululemon. I think they're the hottie toddy shorts. There they are. Um, I sold, I found two of these this day. I already sold one pair for 24, I think. Um, these ones I'm not gonna list because somebody cut out the liner on the inside. Um, yeah, so I'm sure I could sell them and get something for them, but I'm just, I'm not gonna, I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Next is a Billie Eilish. This is a merch t-shirt. I just talked about Billie Eilish in my last uh, video, but this is what her tag looks like for her merch. And generally it will have the tour dates on the back. So this is 2022. I'll probably get about $20 for this guy. I've got an LL Bean. Um, fisherman like cable knit sweater the sell-through rate on these is really good this is an extra small though so it may take a little bit longer to sell but this color is also um, a more popular color this is a life is good i got this because it's basically brand new and it's an xl so yes i'll probably get maybe 15 12 to 15 for this not much, but I think with it being an American flag that it will help it sell a little bit quicker. This is a brand called Endless Not Art. It's 100% silk. And the sell-through rate was pretty good on this brand. It's kind of a kimono style, um, just blouse. But it's very pretty with the orange and the green. It is a small. Um, the larger sizes were selling a little bit better in this brand, but this, I should probably get about 30 for that. <clears throat> I got free people. I was honestly going to take this to Play-Doh's, but I forgot to add it into my box of Play-Doh's stuff. So I'm just going to list it and see if it does anything, <laughs> but it is a, it's a super cute, like geometric Aztec print long sleeve with the tie um, cuff. Pretty cute. I think it's a good size. It's a medium. Oversized boho. I will probably get 15 to 20 for that, I would, I would guess. This is another Free People. This is Free People Beach, my favorite Free People line. This is just a like midi dress, kind of a like lime mint green color really good for summer this one i'll probably get about 25 to 30. this is a new tag aries 
bikini top. I only picked this up because it's brand new. And it's also, it was originally $40. It's a medium and it has some really good um, factors to it, it being floral print. And then it has this ruffle kind of sleeve or strap. Super cute. I will probably get about 20 for that. This is a new to me brand and I found two pieces from this brand. One of them already sold for 45. It was a skirt. It's called No or New Works. There's the tag. And they do collabs with um, artists. So each of their prints is from a different artist. Very cool, very like, uh, like super colorful, trendy, um, not minimalist or neutral whatsoever. <laughs> it is a pop of color and very, very cute. This one I have up for, I think, 75. And I did find, um, I went to a regular Goodwill today and I found a shirt from that brand that should also sell between 50 and 75. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Um, yeah, just learned about it and I found it like twice, three times in about two weeks. Next is Banana Republic. I got this because of the style. I do not generally pick up Banana Republic, but I love the mesh with the polka dots. I feel like this is so cute and trendy right now. Um, it being a beige color, I don't know how it will do. I feel like a different color would have been a little bit easier to sell, but I did find a stock photo, so I'm hoping that helps, but those or that, I'll probably only get like 15, maybe 20 tops. <laughs> Style pickup, we will see how it does. This is a new to me brand, Geyser or Geyser, um, a chartreuse turtleneck, it is so cute. And it is designed and developed in Iceland and it is 100% extra fine merino wool. So that is why I picked it up. <laughs> This brand is not very popular at all on eBay. It is a little bit more popular on Poshmark and it does sell for a pretty good amount, especially with it being a really nice material. I have mine up for 50. I've had some interest in it, so I'm hoping that it sells about that price or I'm hoping 40. Um, yeah, this was a super fun find. Johnny was, it's like a fully embroidered blazer jacket, size medium, I believe. Yes. How cute is this? I think it's a little bit of an older style. It has the three buttons in the front. It's very, very cute. I love it. Really good for spring. I just noticed a little tiny stain. I'm going to have to try to get that out. I can barely see it. Um, but yeah, I have this one up for, I priced it really high because I couldn't find anything like it. Um, I priced it at 120, but I will probably get about 80 for it. What is this? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed this. Uh, Nickelback. It is vintage, I believe. It's a Toltex girly, which is just the Toltex like girly size or style, I guess I, I should say. Yeah, this is not worth much at all. I thought it would be worth quite a bit, but maybe $10. We'll see how that does. <clears throat> uh, Katen, I have no idea how to pronounce this brand, but this is a pretty good brand. I believe it's more of like a surf brand and I think they are made in California. No, not at all, <laughs> China. Um, I will probably get 20 for this guy. It's just a men's button up t-shirt and selfie rate was okay it was not a hundred percent but i picked it up anyway and i don't know why next is a super funky tommy bahama i feel like somebody needs to buy this quick look at it. it's it's got like tiki drinks uh, martinis little cocktail glasses it's so cute perfect for summer um yeah, which is quite a bit of ways, but somebody's gotta go on vacation and buy this from me, hurry. Um, it's a great size, it's a 2XL. Probably get like 25 for this guy. I picked up a pair of Prana leggings. Don't normally do that, but 
These are in really, really nice condition. There is no pilling to them. That's why I picked them up. And I'll probably get about 20, 15 to 20 for those. This is also something I was gonna take to Play-Dohs, but I did not put in with my other stuff. It is a Nike crew neck. It has like a textured Nike symbol on the front and it looks like it needs to be washed now that I'm showing it in the camera, but it's cropped and boxy, so cute. It is a medium, probably get 15 to 20 for that. Those kind of Nike items are harder for me to sell. They don't sell very quickly. Um, it's always a surprise when they do sell. <laughs> I'm like, oh, finally it sold. Um, so I will give it a couple months and once spring, summertime hits, I'll just pack it away for like a Play-Doh's closet trip. Um, yes. This is a brand called Addicted. I think they're just more of a boutique, boutique brand, but they are like a faux leather flare pant, <clears throat> size small. And I have mine up for 25. I'll probably get about 15 to 20 for these. I picked these up based on style um, with it being a flare leg and the faux leather and their high rise. So they have quite a bit of interest already, which was surprising. <laughs> but also very good to see, to know that it wasn't a fail, failed pickup. Um, so I suspect that they will sell fairly soon. Next is Everlane Curvy Cheeky Jean. Um, Everlane is, is such a good brand, but resale wise, I just cannot move it whatsoever. So I, yeah, I still picked it up. <laughs> these and only because they are the curvy cheeky jean that is why i picked these up they're a size 25 so on the smaller side but with them being a light wash high rise like a curvy cut i'm hoping that they sell i hope i get at least 20 dollars for them got some women's patagonia just a nice little pant kind of like a hiking pant i would say they're not nylon, but they are, they're more of like a, a slack, a chino. Um, they are a size four, probably about 25 for that. This is a vintage Y2K, <clears throat> excuse me, Fang. Uh, this is a style pickup. It's a velvet tiered maxi skirt with some lace trim very hot topic gothic um what's the other word i forgot the other the other <laughs> keyword but it does have a little bit of a flaw the inside seam is coming undone so the tie and the elastic needs to be it just needs to be fixed so whoever buys this will have to fix it <laughs> but it is cute it's a size large probably like 20 25 for that this was an exciting find. I wish it was an, a grown-up size, an adult size, because this is a great brand, Kith. <laughs> it's a three to six month, and it is just a like a camo baby jumpsuit. It's so cute. It does have some pilling, like it has been worn and washed quite a few times. I have it up for $39.99, and we will see what this brings in. But if this were an adult hoodie or sweatpants or something like that, that would have been a really great find. Um, but in general, people who spend like $150 on a baby jumpsuit is like, I could not bring myself to do that ever. So more power to you if you can do that. <laughs> um, soft surroundings, good old bread and butter. It's just a floral like tunic. I really like this print. I think this has a specific style name, but I can't remember. If you know, let me know. But it's a medium, did I say that? The only thing is that it is missing one of the roll tab sleeve buttons. So it has this one. The other sleeve does not, sadly, but I still listed it. I just disclosed that and whoever, Maybe someone doesn't like to roll their sleeves up, so they're just gonna wear it long sleeve and it won't matter to them. But I'll probably get about 20, 25 for that. Next is an LL Bean 
chamois, chamois, I have no idea how it's pronounced, but it's just a button up men's shirt. Um, tag says XL, but I think it would fit more like a large, but this is a really pretty like blue teal color, 100% cotton. The sell through rate on this style from LL Bean is really good. So I am hoping it sells quickly and I will probably get about $30 for that. <clears throat> There's another LL Bean. This one is flannel line, corduroy, a button up jacket, shacket. I need to scoot over <laughs> so I can show you guys. <laughs> How cute is that? It is a 2X, so could be worn super oversized. The only thing is that it has this little flaw right here. It's like a scratch to the corduroy but it does not go through to the other side. So it's not a hole, it's just a little flaw. And then it also sadly has some bleach spots. You can kind of see it right there. So I did disclose that. I dropped the price by like $10 from what other people were listing theirs at. I'll probably sell this for around 25. Um, sell through rate is really good on this style as well. Free people intimately which is another brand that i like or the style of free people that i like to sell or offshoot i said i don't know what i'm trying to say <laughs> this is just one of their like slip dresses i've never seen this style before and this like super pretty emerald green color just caught my eye i love it and it is what is the size it's a small probably get like 20 bucks for this maybe um, it does have a little bit of a flaw, this little um, strap. It does need to be fixed because it's kind of hanging on by a thread. So somebody would just need to re-sew that, that piece to the, to the strap. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Next is a Nike Jordan. These are a pair of women's super cute cargo um, utility pants. They have a little tie string at the bottom. They are a small, loose fit. And these are actually um, super trendy, <laughs> super cool. Um, I should get about 40, 30 to 40 for these. We are almost done. I picked up two of these Big Bud Press. This is a great brand to be on the lookout for. They make a lot of... Um, like jumpsuits or overalls, that sort of thing. Those are the most popular, but I just found a couple t-shirts. They're 4XL, a red one and a white one. They both have a few like faint stains to maybe like the sleeve hem or the bottom hem, nothing too um, obvious. And these are both up for $19.99 each. I'm hoping someone buys both of them and I will definitely cut them a deal. And lastly, that's really all I have today. Wow, I feel like that went by so fast. <laughs> These are a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren chinos. They're a 38, 32, and they have super cool like graphics on them for rugby, football. I think mostly just rugby. There's a skull and crossbones. Um, they do have a few flaws. <clears throat> Oops, my camera's dying. Um, so they do have a few flaws. And I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to. There it is. You see that little white spot? It's like a lighter color. It looks like watermarks all right here. So... <laughs> You can't see it unless it's in specific lighting, which is so weird. I didn't notice it. I washed these. I looked at them in, in the bins. I inspected them when I got home. And then when I was photographing, oh, there you go. You can see it right there. See, what is that? <laughs> I don't know if I could even get that out, but I disclosed that in the listing that there were watermarks on the front region. Um, they're kind of hard to see, but they are there. So. With that being said, I will probably only get like 25 bucks for these. If they were new or in way better condition, I probably could have got closer to 50. Um, new would be like 75. So 
they're super cool. I really like them. Um, but anyways, that's all she wrote. I feel like that went by so fast. Um, thank you for watching, first of all, and I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys are having a great day and best of luck in your thrifting adventures. Bye.